markets, an issue that's rampant and widespread. In 2016 alone, there were more than 65,000 overdoses. That's according to the CDC. That's about a 20% increase from the year before. All right, what are we doing in the parking lot? Passed out with the door open and a baby in the back seat. An eight month old soaking in an old diaper, hungry and sweating in the back of a car. In the front seat, authorities say are that child's parents, high on opioids. This video from Tuesday shared by Volusia County deputies in Florida. Just two days later, the president declaring a public health emergency. It's a national emergency. We're going to spend a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of money. Opioid-fueled overdoses are becoming a familiar sight. This video of a Massachusetts toddler shocked the nation last year as she tried to wake her apparently high mother in a dollar store. And this photo of a passed-out Ohio couple in a car who police say they overdosed with a child in the back seat. Terrence Bryant is an Uber driver and sees it all over Los Angeles. I see people strung out all the time, uh, you know, especially the homeless population, uh, the people who are, you know, most in need of help. You know, they're usually getting something that's it doesn't help. The public health emergency declaration means people in rural areas will get access to doctors through telemedicine. It also means agencies dealing with this crisis will get easier access to more grant money. Mark and Michelle, the declaration doesn't mean that states will get immediate federal funding, but it does mean some federal grants will be shifted to help in the fight against opioids.